Once you hit your split step, you need to now move towards the tennis ball. And the very first step you take coming out of your split step is called the first step movement. Behind me, when I hit my split step, I'm going to hit a forehand, and again, I'm left-handed, so I step out with my outside foot, my left foot, and now my foot, when I step out, is more or less parallel with the baseline, and I'm going to push off in the direction that I'm moving to the tennis ball with my inside foot, my right foot. Let's watch this one more time. Coming out of the split step, I step out with my left foot, it's now parallel with the baseline, and I'm pushing off with my inside, my right foot, and from here, now I'm going to maybe run to the tennis ball, maybe take a couple adjusting steps, depends on what kind of ball I'm getting. What you may have noticed is that this movement, this step, is very, very similar to the pivot and the shoulder turn on either the forehand or the backhand, that thing we've talked about in pretty much every single ground stroke video, and you're right, they're the same motion when you are moving laterally along the baseline, if you're moving to the side. If you're moving up or you're moving back, then the footwork is a little bit different. But if you're moving side to side, then the first step movement and the pivot and the shoulder turn are virtually the same thing. Behind me we've got Guillaume Monfi hitting his split step. And this picture and the next one we're about to show you are the exact same pictures we used in the pivot and shoulder turn video of the forehand section. Now, having hit his split step, Monfi steps out with his, inside, his outside foot, excuse me, his right foot in this case since he's a righty, and he's pushing off with his left foot, his inside foot, in the direction of the tennis ball, and that's going to let him get to the ball as quickly as possible. If we go back to the split step, and now this next picture here, again, you could consider this the pivot and shoulder turn, but that's not what we're focusing on here. What we're focusing on is the footwork. He's stepping out with his outside foot and pushing off with the inside foot and this footwork is what he needs to do to get to the ball as fast as he can.